harassment and attempted manslaughter. Excuse me? At this point, I was, I just turned 19. So I was like, no, I just turned 18. I just turned 18. I was like, wait a minute. This is like big person. Like this is like grown up jail. Like what? And all I've had on my record before was like loitering, like stupid things like that. Jaywalking. And all of a sudden now I'm being slapped with attempted murder, felony, stalking and harassment. So I was like shaking in my fucking boots. I was so scared. And, um, Anyway, I Lee went to jail for the same thing too, by the way. Anyway, long story short about that, I ended up posting bail. I ended up getting out. So did Lee. Um, this is the kicker here. When we were in jail, Mary was still receiving these messages from us um, while we were incarcerated. So the CBI, which is the Colorado Bureau of Investigation, um, got involved and they completely seized her laptop and her desktop at her house and at her mom's house. Um, we didn't, Lee and I didn't have a laptop or anything like that. Uh, we actually had to go to the public library to go get on the MySpace and to do all those fun things. So, um, and you had, in public libraries, I don't know anymore, but in public libraries, when you get on the computer, you generally have like a little log to sign on to like what number of computer you're on, how long you're going to be on it, things like that. Um, she was driving up here from the city up to Perigo using the library and saying that we, you know, signing our names in and that's how she was writing these messages when they seized her laptop and her cell phone and they like thoroughly investigated it they were like there's no way that could have happened because these two girls were in jail so there's no way that can happen and the whole time you know mary's like oh these girls are trying to kill me and oh my god what am i gonna do like i'm so afraid for my life and she was like hamming this up you guys like she was like telling them i'm afraid for my life i'm afraid to walk out the front door i'm afraid to go to work i'm afraid to go finish high school and i'm just like oh my god i live two hours away from you what what oh hell no okay come to find out lee one night came clean to me and told me the reason why she's doing this and i really hate to say it now the reason why she's not taking this as well as you would think is because I technically cheated on her with you. So this girl, Lee, when she told me her and Mary were breaking up, she didn't break up with Mary right away. She was dating me all the way. She was dating Mary whilst dating me all the way up until I turned 18. So from March when Lee and I got together all the way until June. So that's three months um, they were still dating. Um, so she told me this, you know, of course, six, like six, seven months into our relationship. And being the dumb young adult teenager I was, I'm like, it's okay. Because um, I loved the girl. So I'm like, it's okay, you know, like we'll work through it. She's obviously clearly fucking insane. So we'll just go ahead and work through this. Um, that didn't happen. So anyway... Uh, the police come to our house and tell me, hey, we found these messages being sent from you to her while you were in jail. That's obviously impossible because you don't have access to those kind of things in jail. Um, so they actually ended up arresting her for felony stalking, felony harassment, um, attempted manslaughter, impersonation, defamation, um, and other things along those lines. So what we were going to be charged with, she was being charged with now. Um, so... All of my charges got dropped. All of Lee's charges mostly got dropped, except for the previous stuff and when we were already living in this city before we moved up to Perigo. Um, and she, it was just a huge mess. Now it's 2010 at this point. It's January of 2010. And uh, Lee has a son. And she was like, we'll just call him, we'll just call him Eli. Okay, so Eli is Lee's son. And she was like, you know, with all this stuff going on, Mary, I don't feel comfortable bringing Eli up here for weekend visitations anymore. I want to go back to the city to go see my mom and my son down there. And I totally respected that. I'm like, if she's driving by her house and shit still, I don't blame you. I mean, that's your child. Like, take care and protect your child. Like, that's your priority. So I was okay with it. One night, um, this is almost a year after all this started, Lee came home and she had a huge hickey, like right here. Like, and it was about that big. It was about this big. And I was like, what is that? Um, and she was like, I don't know. And at that point, I was kind of like, something's not adding up right here. Something's not right. So I let this kind of continue to see how long she would continue to lie to me until I just had enough and kicked her out. Um, I had no idea what I was about to find out, though. Um, 
Mary emails me. She's like, I know it's illegal for me to email you and contact you, but I want you to know Lee and I have been seeing each other. Um, and I actually have a lot of your personal items that Lee has taken from you to try to give to me as gifts. Um, after our court hearing, I'd like to meet you like, you know, really roundaboutly um, in the bathroom in the courthouse after our hearing and give you back your stuff. Um, and she said, you know, her sister was going to be there who the year before in 2009, so two years before, um, I was really good friends with. So I was like, okay, that's fine. The court day comes, you know, I didn't tell Lee any of this. I was like, I'm not going to tell her I'm talking to Mary. I'm not going to tell her the plan of Mary. Um, I just told her, hey, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And Mary was already in there. And she gave me a trash bag full of stuff. I'm talking my panties, my personal jewelry, um, all kinds of stuff. I mean, random stuff, even, even marijuana pipes. Like she was like giving her like random stuff of mine. Um, and at this point I was like gigs up, you know, I took my stuff back. I thanked Mary. I'm like, even though you made my life a living hell for a little over a year now, I do appreciate your honesty here. Um, basically I went home and I told Lee, you know, the gigs up, I emptied out the trash bag, um, of stuff, you know, and it was done with. And Lee ended up being back with Mary. Now, this is a 15 minute long video almost, um, even though that only happened for a little over a year, um, this girl, Mary, like I said, she would call me so often to the point to where I'd have to unplug my phone. Um, I would change my number. I moved. Um, it was so extreme, you guys. Like, it was, it was really extreme. And, um, as a result of that, I did have to seek some counseling and therapy for PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, because I was extremely paranoid. Um, every time I heard a car door slam outside my house, I would immediately get up and turn off the lights, lock the doors, and I would look out the window and make sure it wasn't Mary's car. Um, to this day, I'm kind of like that, even though there's no bad blood, it's just, you know, like residual PTSD. And, um, you know, like when I like hear her name being mentioned, I automatically think like, Oh my God, please tell me she did not ask about me. You know, um, same thing with Lee. So yeah, that was my crazy stalking story. Um, it was kind of all over the place, which I do apologize about, but it was just such a crazy story to begin with. Um, it didn't happen. Like I said, when I say, Oh, it happened for a little over a year. It doesn't really seem like that long. It was one of those situations, you guys, where it was like so surreal and so crazy that I was like, it was almost in fast forward and slow motion in, in once, you know what I'm saying? Like it was, it happened so fast, but it felt like it took forever for it to kind of come to a head. You know, it felt like it took forever. And that's really, really weird. It's a really crazy situation to be in. Um, but anyway, uh, the ending of the story, I guess, is like I said, this did happen six, seven years ago. Um, they are both not together anymore. In fact, Lee is married. And she has a family with her wife and her children. Um, Mary's in a relationship with somebody else. And I'm obviously with Jesse. And we have a child. And none of us talk anymore. And um, it's just, it's it's great. Um, there was a permanent restraining order um, put in place between Mary and I. Just because um, when I was in therapy and seeking counseling, my th uh, therapist said, you know, I do recommend having a permanent restraining order put in place just in case anything happens or just in case anything else arises ever again, um, she'll automatically be thrown in jail no matter what if she contacts you. Um, and for those of you that don't know, restraining orders, or at least in the state of Colorado, um, say I have a restraining order against Mary, um, that doesn't mean I can contact Mary. That means we can't contact each other. If I am caught trying to contact her, I will go to jail as well. Um, if she's caught trying to contact me, she will go to jail. Um, that's just how restraining orders work in my state. I don't know how they work in your state. So anyway, yeah, I hope this was an interesting video. It's almost 18 minutes long as of now. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more story time videos, if this was exciting, um, and comment below what you guys thought about this story and what you thought about, you know, any kind of stalking situation, whether it's somebody you know personally or it's happened to you or 
you know somebody I don't know um, anyway I will see you guys on Friday now speaking of the vlog channel and posting and stuff um, I'm really gonna try to get some content together for the vlog channel which I will link down below in the description bar so if you are not subscribed to the vlog channel then please do and like I said I'm really 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 trying to get some content put up this past weekend was really crazy you know wolf had her thyroid removed and she had a lot of complications which i will be doing a future video all about thyroid and hashimoto graves disease um 